Welcome to the wonderful world of iPhone accessories. And today we're talking about some of my favorites, specifically for the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max. There are a ton of accessories out there, and I'm gonna give you a bit of a rundown of kind of my everyday carry in that department. So without further delay, let's get into it. So obviously keeping your iPhone charged up is important, and what better way to do that than with this video sponsor, Basis, and their new Pico Go 45 watt fast charger. This little charger will make sure that you're getting the fastest charging speeds possible, up to 45 watts on the new iPhone 16 series. And thanks to the USB Type-C port, it's compatible with a wide variety of devices, not only smartphones, but even gaming devices like the Nintendo Switch or the Steam Deck. On top of that, it uses the premium PI chip sourced from the same manufacturer's iPhone. What's a PI chip, you ask? The PI chip is the advanced cell fittings from the manufacturer Power Integrations, who is the supplier of Apple. And if you want to learn more about them, be sure to check out power.com. And along with that 45 watt charging, this little guy charges at a lower, safer temperature, which is obviously important. And it's just so cute and small. I mean, look at it compared to Apple's 30 watt power brick. The contest is just nothing here. This thing wins all around. Along with all of that, if you're looking for a cable, Basis does have this nice new free to draw mini retractable cable, which as you can see, just comes out easily with one hand. This thing is pretty nice. I just really like this charging cable because it's nice to throw into a bag. It won't get tangled because it is retractable, which is really cool. It's got a nice finish to it. And on top of that, I mean, it's basis, so you can count on the quality. There are four adjustable settings with this thing, and honestly, it's awesome. And if you want to pick up this or the PicoGo 45 watt fast charger, I will leave links to both of these in the description below, along with everything else that I mentioned in this video. Now, if you recommend MagSafe for charging, I definitely recommend picking up Apple's 25 watt MagSafe charger here. This thing is awesome. Obviously, this pairs up nicely with the 45 watt charger that I mentioned earlier. And with charging speeds up to 25 watts, you can get 50% battery in just 30 minutes. I mean, look at how easily this thing attaches. And I even trust hanging my iPhone from it, come on. On top of that, it's compatible with Qi 2 and Qi charging devices, so you can really charge a plethora of smartphones and devices with this MagSafe charger. But if you prefer to ditch the wall tether altogether, I definitely recommend checking out anything in this department from ESR. ESR makes some pretty slick MagSafe battery packs that support Qi 2 charging, and this one right here packs a 5,000 milliamp hour battery inside. So this does have a button that gives you a power indicator on the top, and on top of all that, it's got a kickstand built into it, so when you attach it to your phone via MagSafe, you can use it to prop up your phone while you're charging. It's really great. I especially do like though that you can charge two devices at once using the MagSafe on the back and the output from the USB Type-C port on the side, which is both the power input and output for this little battery pack right here. Keeping on the MagSafe accessory topic, let's talk about a few of my everyday carries in that department. So first up, we've got the Apple MagSafe wallet. And honestly, I used to be against this in fear of it falling off and I'm losing it or anything like that. It's got a pretty secure connection, but I do like the built-in Find My support, so if you do drop it, you kind of get a last known location, which puts me a little at ease. I will say that the leather version does seem a little bit grippier than the fine woven version when on the back of a phone, but it's easier to get your cards out of the fine woven version. And Apple doesn't make the leather one anymore, so you're kind of stuck with this. I really do love how much just carrying around three cards in a wallet has simplified my life. And most of the other cards that I need are in Apple wallet on the iPhone, so I don't need physical cards for them. And honestly, this is just a really nice handy thing to have. I, I really can't say enough nice things about the Apple wallet. Obviously leather or fine woven, they're both fabric material, so it's gonna wear over time, but I think that these are a solid choice and I really do like Apple's MagSafe wallet. Okay, so next up, this is kind of a special occasion type of thing, but I have the Nomad Magnetic Leather Back. Now this thing is pretty cool because as you can see, it's just a thin leather back and it attaches to the back of the iPhone. It's very, very simple. So it's obviously not a case and it's not a skin, it's just a leather back, but the MagSafe connection here is very strong. But if that's not enough, there are little micro suction pads on here that will give you a nice secure fit to the iPhone that just won't come off. It's gonna gain a nice leather wear over time. It doesn't prevent you from using any MagSafe accessories because it's got MagSafe pass-through, so you're perfectly good there. And it's just a nice fancy way to show off your iPhone. If you're going out for a nice night on the town, maybe this is something you slip on. For me personally, it's not something I use every single day because I'm just deathly afraid of dropping my iPhone without a case on it. But for you, it might be the right fit. If you're looking for a full leather case experience, well, since Apple doesn't make them, Nomad has you covered with their modern leather case right here. So this case does cover the entire iPhone and it's got a nice TPU bumper built in so you're safe against drops and things like that. 
And of course, there's a cutout for the camera control button here on the side. So you have everything that you need there right at your fingertips. And all the other buttons are covered up with nice aluminum. So it's just kind of fancy in that regard. And overall, it's just a nice option for those of us who like the look, the smell, and the feel of leather and how it wears over time. Though, I hope you're not smelling your iPhone every day. All right, so next up in the case department is the 360 spin case from Taurus. And I've actually talked about this one before. As far as protection goes, this is a pretty standard case. It covers up everything for you. It's got all the buttons covered. It's got a camera control cutout, so you can easily use that new feature on the iPhone 16 Pro. But the real cool trick here is the rotating ring on the back of the case. So you can literally use this as a stand and you can rotate the ring to position your iPhone in pretty much any orientation, which is great. Of course, this little ring right here is also MagSafe compatible, so you can use it with your chargers and your Apple wallet, things like that. But I do like that there are just virtually infinite stand positions with this thing because you can kind of move it however you want. It's pretty crazy. So if you're looking for something with a little bit of extra utility, the Taurus 360 spin case definitely has you covered. But if you're more of a first party person, while it's not the cheapest option in the world, Apple silicone case is pretty good. It's a really nice case overall, and the inside of the case has a very nice soft lining. There's also a covering on the camera control button, but it is a capacitive covering, which allows you to use the camera control button natively through the case without any functionality problems. Of course, it's an Apple case, so it's definitely MagSafe ready, so no worries in that department. And you really can't go wrong with the Apple silicon case. Though one thing I will mention, over time, if you do drop it a little bit, it does tend to chip at the corners or the edges, so just watch out for that. And let's not forget about screen protectors. I mean, it's important to cover your screen here, but mostly all of them are the same, though I have been rocking this one from Taurus since the iPhone 16 Pro launched, and I'm pretty happy with it. So this whole thing is easy to apply. It comes with its own installation tool, which allows you to line up everything with the iPhone, press it down, and get your screen protector installed just like that. On top of that, it's a two pack. So, I mean, you get two of them, which you can reload into that installation tool, use it a second time later down the road, or get one to a friend. I mean, you really can't go wrong. And realistically, like I said, it's just glass attached to glass that's protecting glass. So it's a screen protector, but I do trust Taurus's stuff and I definitely recommend you check them out. And overall, it's done a pretty good job keeping itself scratch free. So really no complaints here. So that is a rundown of my favorite iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max accessories. I've been using them all since this thing came out and I really can't get enough of the stuff that I told you about. A couple honorable mentions here. I have been using the Apple Watch Ultra 2 for a year now, so I can't believe it's been a year. Time flies. Stay tuned for a video for that. And my AirPods Pro 2. I mean, I love the AirPods Pro. They are absolutely great, but I would love to know your favorites down in the comment section. And there are links to everything I have mentioned down in the description below. But really, there's so much in the world of iPhone accessories, I could make a video that's a day long about this topic. So let me know your favorites down in the comments.